Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold, my mono rock run. It's time to take on Red and one final epic confrontation. Though this team's gonna be the one of the least prepared for it in its own way, I suppose, since we're not gonna do any grinding in order to prepare for Red, because there's really no point. Um, because we can take advantage of Pikachu's typing and attacks to basically set up with Graveler and then just sweep the entire team right from under the rug, you know, with one Pokemon without having to do any of the tedious work of going through the Elite Four over and over and over again. And I'm thankful for that, because getting this team through the Elite Four one time was already a pain in the butt enough. Doing it multiple times for the sake of grinding, I think I'd want to punch myself in the dick multiple times, because it was awful. There's just no getting around that. It was a terrible experience. Um, I did realize, though, I could do a dragon run if I'm willing to start using dragons against the gym leaders when I get to, um, Goldenrod, though, since you can buy one for 2,100 coins. So if I hit up all the trainers and stuff I run across and grab the coin case, I should hopefully be able to get enough money to just buy one outright. Um, I'm not sure I really like the idea, though. I mean, it does offer me a way of doing it, but... At the same time, uh, the Dratini I'd be, end up buying would not be very powerful, and then I'd have to save enough money to buy another Dratini, because I'm not going to be able to get any until, you know, Blackthorn City otherwise. And then there's, you know, the whole problem with um, getting past certain targets, you know, with it. Oh, if you really want to fight me that bad, Ponyta, because, you know, if you want to, I can wipe you out. Rock throw. I gotta save the Earthquakes, after all. <sighs> See, I suppose there is an option to do a Dragon Run, but I'm a bit hesitant to commit to one. Mainly because, you know... Ugh. I mean, the main weakness would be on um, the Ice types and then Dragons themselves. Yeah, we're gonna do this in the dark. I've got a map pulled up for this, so it shouldn't be too bad. For the most part. This is mostly where it's gonna end up hitting walls. Of course, we do have to worry about getting hit by a bunch of random encounters, I suppose, since I don't have any um, repels right now. Well, I'm mostly just trying to ignore them and just keep on moving forward. Gosh darn it. <sighs> like Graveler, huh? The sad part is if this thing doesn't let me run away, it could royally mess me up. <sighs> Thankfully, it just lets leave. Shoot, another one? Man. This place is relentless. <sighs> Okay. There we go. I thought so. Damn, I hadn't hit the bomb yet. We're near the, um, exit into the next area, actually. We're very close. Just a bit more maneuvering in the dark, and we should finally be able to see the light. Darn it. Um, I guess I missed my count there slightly. That's alright. Just have to go a bit more, a bit further forward, I think, and we'll hit it. There we go. Crap. I missed my mark and ran up out with a Quagsire. Shoot. Um. Good thing Quagsire usually likes to run away itself, so it's not as prone to lying to hang on to a battle if it doesn't want to. Oh. Crap. It's a bit late to pick one of these up, though. At least it would have been fun to use, but. Oh well. And that's just, you know, straight up these um stairs. 
Okay, Red. It's time to sell who the best trainer really is. Or in this case, the one who can abuse items the most. <laughs> because I'm going to abuse them. I'm going to abuse them a lot. Okay, Pikachu, prepare yourself. First things first, we're going to drop ourselves a guard special. That way our opponent can't lower our stats. So we can just start jacking up all our stats, you know. With no consequences for it. So first we're going to boost our speed. After all, without the speed boost, there's no way we're going to be able to outspeed anything in this game at this point. Because, you know, 20 to 30 level differences in level here is a lot. It really is. Um... Whatever, Pikachu. You can hit me with quick attacks if you want. It doesn't really do anything, though. Not really. Okay, one more X speed. For maximum speed. Yeah. And then... X attack. I suppose I'll take an X accuracy, too. Try and make sure we don't miss with um, Rock Throw when we get to Charizard. Because I can't hit him with an Earthquake. And I'm not going to rely on Headbutt, let's face it. If I can only use one X Accuracy in a battle for whatever reason. Well, it's not giving up yet, I suppose. It's, it's, it's got that going for it. It's like, if I keep hitting him, eventually he'll fall, right? Just gotta keep chipping away. The sad part for Pikachu is when I finally do go on the offensive, it's just gonna get slaughtered. Hard. Ugh, okay. That's reached its limit. Yeah, I used one of those already. I can't do anything else now. Okay, time to start attacking. Earthquake. Maximum power. <laughs> I wonder how high that would be on the Richter scale anyway. Probably fairly high at this point. Um, though it doesn't really matter. Pikachu can't endure it anyway. Oh, it's Espeon. I remember you, you speedy son of a gun. You are really annoying when I got to you with the um, dance house. Gosh darn it. Mostly because that high speed and its um, ability to use psychic attacks, but it's just bypassing my um, rock hard defenses altogether. Gosh darn subpar um, special defense. <sighs> okay, come on, Venusaur. Just fall over. I know you want to. Well, that takes care of that. And that leaves only a couple more left, huh? Blastoise, huh? Well, Blastoise, feel the power of my earthquake. Let's shake your world to the very foundations, and then shatter it at its very core. Boom. Oh, yeah. If it actually survived that, we would've been screwed. We would've just been surfed right back at us, and bam, over. Okay, it's time to rock down Snorlax. Hopefully. If it can shrug this off, I might be for a world of hurt depending on what it throws back. Nope. And, like I said, that leaves Charizard. Definitely not a pick I'd want to go with in this situation, but I suppose with Flamethrower, you know, it might be able to do some decent damage if it survived long enough, but we're not gonna let it. I mean, with the, its massive weakness to rock throw, there's no way it's getting back up. It's over. <sighs> I have to admit, it gets the heart pine watching those health bars slowly um go down. You know, like if it, this doesn't work, I'm screwed. <laughs> but it's over. Fred was no match for our item abuse. No match at all. <laughs> and I guess I'll let the credits run again anyway. 
I don't know why, I just usually let credits run when they play. It's not like there's anything really to get out of it. Besides watching, you know, the Bell Awesome, all that stuff dance. <sighs> I would like to do some other runs in Gold, Silver, and Crystal still, but at the same time, I don't really want the cheat to do them, but reaching a point where that's pretty much my only option. I suppose I could technically do another bug run. I never did do the post-game content with a bug team, so I've never taken down Red with, you know, Paris and all that stuff in my party, well, Paris sect, because there's no way I'm going to use a Paris. I'm going to evolve it in my first opportunity after it learns Spore. But, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what I'd do to get a bug team past here, though. Um, I would want to go with some unusual picks, I suppose, but I'm not sure how unusual I can really pull off. And if I was going to do bugs, I'd probably want to do Crystal, just to get Ladybug. Um, Ladybug is probably not the best Pokemon, but it can learn Ice and Thunder Punch. Which does give you an option to throw at, say, the Dragons later on. Sure, Ladybug is not that great, but... You know, having an Ice Punch user is still better than nothing. I mean, otherwise, I'm going to have to rely on something like Butterfree and Sleep Powder. Um, which isn't something I prefer. I mean, I might want to set up with um, Sleep Powder, switch into, you know, Lady and drop a X Special or two, then go straight to town by trying to uh, just punch everything out of existence in that gym. But... That would be, you know, probably one of my better options. Um, I could power up Scyther, I suppose, and use Wing Attack, but I'm not sure I have a high enough level to have it. Well, that does it for this run. Till next time, then. See ya.